Uno, tres. Cuatro, cinco. Oh, yeah. Keep burping. What's up, you fucking people? We are here. We are back. Welcome to the show. If you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple, you can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us on Spotify or Apple. We're here. We're living the dream with this little fucking porky pig of a fucking dog. And I went out and got us a beer to try. We got a new beer. We have a new beer. A new beer. Very nice. You know. Zoo like beer, so it's okay. That's on one. It's warming day. up. Uh, what do you think? What kind of beer I got? <laughs> wet. Fucking yeah, wet. Yeah, wet. That's from the best wet water. Best wet water in Las Vegas. Yeah. That's what the Donald Trump said. We have the best wet, wet water. water in all wet water. Well, I got this. Here you go. One for you. Sneaky peach. Sneaky peach. One for me. Peach pale. Oh. Yeah, so I bought a sneaky peach peach pale ale from Lake of the Woods Brewery Company. Lake of Wood? Lake of the Woods. Brewery company. It's called so, Sneaky Peach. So Lake is on the wood or Lake of the Woods? Lake of the Woods. So it's a lake in the wood? In the wood. <laughs> yeah. Lake in the wood. Lake is of the wood. So in, also they call it like wood is like a, a transformation to lakes. It's not actually lake. It's lake of the woods. So it's like a liquid wood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. You didn't even start drinking yet. <laughs> and you already went okay, down let's, this rap. Let's open. No. Here wait. You go. I have to read the oh, description. Oh my god, that's fucking three hours. <laughs> it says here put there by a man in a factory downtown sneaky peach pale ale is one big nose smooth finish ale. Delicious, delectable, and decisively drinkable. Did you know peaches are symbols of immortality? Uh, doesn't mistake. Oh, sneaky. I know lot of, uh, lots of farmers who eat so much peaches and they all die. And they That's, all die before the 60s. Yeah, I don't know. That's what happened. Yeah, but they decided, yeah, to make peaches yeah. with beer. Yeah. It's Canadian, but I believe. So. Yeah, it's a Canadian beer, craft yeah, beer. Lake of the Woods. L yeah, one more time. L Lake, Lake of, of the, the Woods. Wood. And have green lips on the, on the peaches. Yeah, that's some girls have green lips too. No, but, but that's leaves from the peaches. Yeah. Yeah, so what is the inside? Beer. <laughs> So we're supposed, supposed to. So this is like, a premium beer, not just a normal beer. Premium <clears throat> beer, born and bred in the north. That's what Ooh, the slogan says on it. There is a shit ton of ingredients: water, malt barley, peaches, flake oats, malted wheat, hops, and yeast. Best infection? It says here best... You have invest yeast infection? You was a woman. Yeah. It says here best served in a glass. Yeah. I don't know why they sell it in a can then. If it says best no, served No, I don't eat... I, I yeah, you're going to eat it. <laughs> eat everything from can. Yeah. So I can drink beer from can. But yeah, let's try the sneaky sneaky... Here you go. Peach. Cheers. Cheers. Let's open it. And first time first trying it. Imp uh, impression. Yeah. All okay, right. you go. Bubbly. I, I waiting for you gonna say. I, I smell already shit like crazy, so it smells like a fucking you know dead fucking soap. Well, right away the description says it's smooth. It is not smooth. Okay, I'm okay. My turn. Okay, sure. Uh, we're gonna be like exchanging back and forth. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of smooth. No, it's, to me it's not smooth for a beer. Wait a second. I 
I do not taste a single peach. I think they forgot to put the peaches <laughs> in the beer. That's what I'm saying. I think so they put. I think I think so they put branch and leaves from this peach, but not yeah. peach. I think the sneaky part is the peach ran away from the beer, and it's, and it's like uh, you have this fucking. Very you taste sour. the oats. You yeah, taste the oats because it has much. flaked oats. Yeah. That's what I said on the ingredients: flaked oats. Yeah. So you can taste the oat. You can taste the malt wheat. Yeah, and you take I, them all for sure, but we... Yeah, know. there's smooth because there's no aftertaste or before taste. It doesn't leave a taste in your mouth. What are you thinking? Try it. <laughs> but this is like... You know what this tastes like? You know, you know how you wash your hair? When you wash your hair, yeah, okay. when you have with nice shampoo uh -huh. and it smells so good, but doesn't matter how it went to your eyes or nose and lips, and you taste it, it mm. tastes like a shampoo from fucking oh. from the shower. I was gonna say this tastes like a guy went into the woods. I don't know, guys going in the woods. Yeah, because it says here that it's a man in a factory actually. But this tastes like a man that went to the woods, cut a pine tree down, cut it into a million pieces, tried to boil it, and then put it in a can, and then it just tastes like a boiled tree. Just tastes like fucking like a fucking 30 day old oatmeal that you kept in the fridge. And it's like, too much, what do you say, the oats you said? All I can taste is oats. That's but all you, I can taste. But you taste, if you very gently drinking, you start to taste peach. If you then just, just zip it. Like no, it. I think we got robbed. There's no peach in this. This is fake. fake Look at this. Fake Last drink. you put, like like very gentle. Just put just a little bit. Just drink the... the okay. The, almost nothing. Okay. <laughs> no, just drink. And taste in the mouth. And you see it, the oats coming a little bit later. But... Yeah, wood. Trees, lake, lake on, on the woods. It tastes like a thing. Okay, no, fuck it. Why, what is the point with peaches? Yeah, why what advertise the... peach when and there's no the... fucking peach no, in it this is, thing? No, it is some peach, but it's like they diluted with water to 0. 0.00. Zero zero one. No, you know what they did? They juiced one peach and do it and two they're thousand like, cans. and they're like this. Yeah, let's split it with twenty four cans. <clears throat> Can't taste peach. Put more oats. That's okay. Yeah, more oats. Oh fuck. Make Who's, it. How they fucking even survive? Someone's a millionaire from making this dog shit drink. I don't know what's going on with this country. This guy should go back to making beer school. Whatever it's called, beer school. Yeah. Cause uh, this thing. Okay. It says old world style. Yeah, you should go back to the old world. They probably made you it. You should better. have a fucking brand new style now. But it says that. here it's best served in a glass. Yeah. Maybe it would taste different if I poured it in a glass. No. Because you let it breathe. Like maybe the peach mixes in better in a glass. Maybe that's why. But from the can. It is, uh, yeah, it literally just tastes like oat, like oatmeal, like an oatmeal drink, like a fucking... That's what they do, beer from oat? oat yeah, beer? like flaked oats. Yeah. Yes, oat will meat think, taste completely different than a beer. But it's not oat, not just oat. They use wheat, hops, yeast, barley, the fucking peaches is like, they fucking went like... Like a raindrop of peach, and they're like, "Yeah, there's peach in this." So, and they put this peach out of it to do two thousands. They push back again the same. Yeah, peach. it's like Taco Bell. 80 percent cardboard, twenty percent meat. After they use this peach, it's like a clear. Uh, you can see through. This is the Taco Bell of beer. It's fucking it's six, not, it's 60, not 80 percent fake it's, meat. It's not. It's not fake Mexican. Peach. It's Canadian. Yeah, but I'm s comparing like how Taco Bell puts and fake you have a shit. Tim up. Thumb up on the bottle. Yeah, because it's naturally carbonated. It didn't add any carbonation to it. How does naturally carbonate? Because they put a shit ton of fucking wheats and hops 
and all that bullshit. No, they must preserve carbonated water. No, please. it's from all that bullshit. The wheats and the hops and everything. That's ridiculous how this carbonated like this. It's not possible to be like that. What, naturally carbonated? Yeah, like natural carbonated is like natural carbonated water, not fucking wheat in this. It says, he, it says here you're going to ha have a, cir a circus in your mouth. Yeah, I can taste the lion shit and the elephant <laughs> shit in my mouth right now from the zoo. Yeah, I just want to say pissed off the tiger. That's it. Yeah, I am just like... Yeah, these beers have not I been good know, lately. I, I don't know. I like my the French thing where we have this... Peach That's not beer though. That's yeah, liquor. yeah. But I'm saying yeah. it's better to buy this and this. Yeah, and this should not be a premium beer. I don't know why they labeled it premium beer. It should be fucking. In... They should be named have almost shit peach beer. Yeah, almost because if they want to call it a circus. They should almost call... sneaky piece beer. Yeah, piece sneaky tiger shit tree beer. They have tiger beer in Thailand. I know they have Thailand? tiger beer. Thailand, 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 yes. Thailand. My friend drank this. Mm -hmm. He said, I remember how we went over there. He said, well, I drank it as well. I want first thing I don't drink. The, 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 the. What? Yeah, tie, 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 tie. Beer. Yeah. Tiger beer. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you can he buy said, piss like tiger piss. This is terrible, he said. Yeah, tiger beer is weird because they put sugar in it. Oh. Maybe I should try it. I never see So it tastes like Corona with like yeah, sugar. Yeah, but still, oh, it's insane. So taste no, it's sweet or uh, taste uh, taste uh, sweet and uh, sour at the same time. Yeah, but this happy thing, happy, happy. this thing, yeah, tiger shit from the zoo. No, you know what they did? Fucking <sighs> wait, I gotta bring glass. Yeah, let's try it in a glass, cause I feel like it might be different. But this tastes like, you know how they have that expensive coffee where they feed the cats the coffee beans and the cats shit the coffee beans out and then they make that into coffee? This is yeah. what they probably did. They fed the tigers peaches from the circus. Yeah. The tigers shit the peaches. And then they made the peach juice with the hops in a bucket. And then they're like, this is the tiger peach shit bucket uh beer naturally carbonated from the pussycat's ass <laughs> this beer how much does this beer cost per can no it wasn't like too pricey it was three seventy five a can. Yeah, three seventy five per beer. And you know what you end up with? Tiger shit. Well, I'm gonna pour it in front of the camera so they can see. It smells okay. Yeah, I wish. Okay. This is how you're supposed to pour it, so you don't get foam. Zoo, come here. Hush you. Hush you. Filling it a little bit. Oh my God, you're dripping on the leg. That's okay. Zoo, drink it. See, and then you have no foam. And show them your beer, how you poured. Mine is like foam. A, opposite what you have. So. <laughs> so. Okay, let's maybe let, let's, let this sit a little bit. I'm seeing if I can find the peach. Nope, no peach. I still don't see peach, or smell it, or see it. You don't have foam. I have a foam. Smell mine. Okay, your foam. Smell like, like peach. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was probably. It looks like peach. Yeah. You're not gonna like it, Zeus. It's too peachy. He's giving you a rim job. Yeah. Yeah, it is better in the glass. You know, it tastes this fucking old. No. It's better, wow. it's better in the glass, yeah. Fuck. We changed the mind now. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> you have to drink it, it in the glass. Said, you said, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I could, we take the glass. Holy. You yeah. still taste it if you take, like, zips too big. But you taste it way less, like yeah. the... Yeah. 
So you you'll have to drink this beer in a, in glass. a glass. Here you go. Not in a can. Well, now it's a different story. Okay. Yeah, now we have a different beer. I should put like a little cherry. <laughs> cherry and a peach drink? Uh oh. You peach. should put peaches. Peach, yeah, peach or orange. No peach. Peach. Yeah. The problem is they have orange but no peach. <laughs> yeah, this beer just got a lot better in a glass. So just wait, don't say nothing. Don't say what? This way. Jesus. Still taste oats or no? Yeah, a little bit. You have to let them sit. Like I think I'm getting used to the oat flavor though now. It takes you like oat. I'm like turning flavor. into a giant oatmeal right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know what? That's better out yeah, of the can. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry for talking but shit. But how do you know? What is different between can and and then and then okay, the, 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 you know, like what the fucking? Because it gives it room. The guy like this. Pour to my, uh, uh, pour on my chest. Mm -hmm. I still can't yeah. talk. Pour on my blue shoes. Yeah. Oh fucking smell shoes. Pour on the glass. Ooh man, where's your oats? Australians drink it out of shoes. They call it a shoey. And good, good for them. Yeah. Fucking, I gonna puke right away. <laughs> shoey. And the the when you do a shoey, you're supposed to grab a stranger's shoe. Oh, no. not your own shoe. A cover nineteen. So that way your for feet, sure. Fine. Your feet are dry, and Buddy has to put on the wet shoe after. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, this is way better. So okay, so on the one to ten. Beers would we ever drink, I give them five. Yeah, I say this is like a six. Yeah, I give five. A cool slide is number one. Six because of the citrus. Citrus touch to it. But yeah. In a glass, way better. But speaking of tigers, uh, Mike Tyson. Big news with Mike Tyson. He beat up some guy on the he, plane. He beat the guy up on the airplane. <laughs> Why? I think so. I saw this. He was drunk or something. No, Mike so Mike Tyson punched plane passenger after bottle was thrown at him. So it says here, former heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson punched a fellow airline passenger after the person threw a water bottle at him. But why he threw the water bottle at him? To try to make a funny video. Well, that's... That's disrespectful. So it says video taken on the on the plane shows Tyson leaning over his seat as he repeatedly punches an unidentified man. A spokesperson for the boxer, Boxing Hall of Famer, confirmed Tyson had an incident with an aggressive passenger who was harassing him. Police were dispatched and temporarily detained. Two individuals, one person was threatened at San Francisco International Airport for non-life-threatening injuries. Yeah, I saw his face, the guy. Treated for non-life. Yeah, he was actually, yeah, but he, he already loyal up and he attacking Tyson, they said. On TMZ was. He put a lot of loyals and they're going to say to him, because he had fucking scratches and everything. Yeah. Tyson must have been fucking put to the... I don't try or something and rub on his face or something, I don't know. That's not from punching, but like fucking motherfucker. Tyson, if you punch him, you will kill him. That's, I know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He probably just rough him up, punch you like, like not boxing style. Just fucking, you know, about the chair. He's probably like this. Hey, you little motherfucker. You and fucking eat you. You throw a water bottle at me. I fucking had tigers in my swimming pool in my bed. No, Tyson is very good. Person. You know how many, how much toad I smoked? You know how much fucking toad I just smoked? No, in? but you, any kind of human who you throw a bottle on your lips, switch going, and one, you say, fuck this, what the one, fuck? One time. Oh, that's just funny. Not not for me, and now, hey, hey you're gonna get it. One, ah! one time at the gym, I literally saw a man working out. And the other man looked like a fellow on steroids or some kind of drugs. Something. He was on something. Why are you thinking he was on something? Because he Be was beat? Well, because the other guy was working out. He had headphones on. And then he started giggling while he was lifting weights. 
So I was. I am assuming that the man was listening to funny music or, or a podcast, podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. while he was working out. But this other man on steroids or some other drugs thought the man was laughing at him exercising. So what happened? So the guy screamed across the gym, hey, stop laughing at me. But the guy can't hear him because he has headphones on. So what this man did, he decided to grab his water bottle and threw it at, as hard as he can at this man in the gym, like in the face. So he threw the water bottle at him in the face. Whoa. The guy was like, what the fuck? And then he took his headphones off. And when he went to take his headphones off, the guy fucking hit him as hard as he can in the fucking face. One punch. And then I literally heard the guy go, oh! And fucking fell to the ground. In that gym? No, in a different gym. Oh. Old gym that I used to work at. Oh, okay. Oh, that's crazy downtown gym? Yep. The Falcon? Yeah. yeah. And then he fell to the ground. There was probably eight of us in the gym. We looked, we saw, and then we just turned back around, kept working out, because we're like, we don't want to get attacked by the steroid man. You didn't help the guy? So the guy literally just stood up, grabbed his bag, and walked out the door. And at that point, he could have literally called 911 and get this guy arrested, but he didn't even do nothing. Just walked out of the gym, and then the guy just kept working out like nothing happened. Because he didn't know This happened. juice pig guy. Who fucking punched him in the face and threw a water bottle at his face. Because he was laughing, but not at him. He was just laughing in the gym because he was listening to something funny. But why did he think he was laughing at him? Because the there's people out there who are fucked in the head who think... No, something must trigger him. He was walking no. and he was like, hey, whoa. People are fucked in the head and they're egotistical and they think people are fucking judging them I in public... I when in reality, no one gives a shit no, about no, you. No. I have it. I have a story with this. Okay. What happened is, the big stories guy won't do it with his <laughs> little key spot. And he said, no, I'm doing this. And he said... But doing what? How, whatever he was there, what he was doing. What he was doing. He was doing something completely different. No, no, that's what I'm saying. On the beginning, maybe you didn't see it. He won't do it. He say, hey, how long are you going to be here? Uh, whatever I didn't I, see that. Exactly. That's what my story is. I, I'm going to do whatever I can. You know how well I always sometimes. Yes. I don't know. We're going to force series. I don't know. Because some guys need to this. So he get pissed and he go away. So this guy call somebody on the phone through the headphones and start saying shit. Say, oh, fucking the steroids guy fucking won this. Yeah, I but say, I, I never heard him. Yeah, that he wasn't a... speaking on the phone. He was listening. He was giggle. just giggling. Yeah, yeah, but maybe he... And he heard it about, oh, this fucking guy won this. And he talking to himself, but he don't know he hear it. And he say, hey, you fucker. You, no. You laugh, and he say, hey. <laughs> ah! And then, fucking, he like, what the fuck? <laughs> He said, that's it. Yeah, but he wasn't having a conversation on the phone. He was just listening to something. (laughs) Yeah. Because he wasn't talking to anyone. He was literally just minding his own business on his headphones. And he got attacked for no reason. I don't know. I don't... I know that was your story. But this guy on the fucking make ties is very pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. But it says here that... That subject provided minimal details of the incident and refused to cooperate further with the police investigation, a spokeswoman for the San Francisco Police Department said in a statement. Both people were released pending further investigation. The department did not identify either of the individuals involved. The attack occurred on board a JetBlue flight on Wednesday night before it set off from San Francisco to Florida. The video published by TMZ does not show the entirety of the altercation and a water bottle is not visible in the footage. According to TMZ, Tyson had agreed to take a picture with the passenger at the beginning of the flight, but the man continued to harass Tyson despite requests from Tyson to chill. says here, the video of Tyson striking his fellow passenger included audio of another person calling, Hey, Mike, Mike, 
seemingly trying to calm him while another person tries to uh, push Tyson away. So let's see this video. So this is the video of Mike Tyson attacking the guy. Yeah, that's what I saw. See, he roughed him up. Yeah, it looked like he punched him in the face. No, he just roughed him up. Or punched something. No, that's definitely like little punches, like mini punches. Like, hey, you motherfucker. No, they like wrestling. Like, he doesn't you know, like wrestle. this, like this. No, like this. Like he China. grabbed him, hey, shut the... Stop yeah. fucking bothering. And yeah. that's what he do. If he want to punch, you will be kill him. I told you. Mm -hmm. He just holding him down and this guy like, ah, you fucker. And he's like, no, you fucker. Yeah. It says here, it then shows the passenger's forehead, which appears bloodied. The San Francisco Police Department said it was a... Aware of the video that possibly captured the incident, the footage was sent to the San, San Mateo County Sheriff's Office, which has jurisdicted over the investigation. Tyson is no stranger to violence inside and outside the ring. In 1992, he was... Holy fuck! Here we go! 1992! <laughs> Holy shit, that's like what's... Long, long time ago. Yeah, it says here he was convicted of rape and served three years in prison. In 1997, he was disqualified from a flight after biting off part of his opponent's ear. Yeah, and in 1998, Tyson pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor assault following a car accident in Maryland. Since February of 2021, more than 7,000 unruly passenger incidents... You know, have been reported in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Uh, he's, you know how edibles he producing? Produ That's why I say he was smoking the toad. He always says, "I'm smoking the toad." No, no, but he's edible. You know, I'm like, like gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, he have gummy ears. That how be, he buy? Yeah, the, yeah. That's what he's selling. How he buy the holy the ear on uh, fighting? Now he's selling gummy ears. Mm-hmm. That's what the horse said. It was hilarious fucking how he doing it. In my opinion, I think this random dude really fucked up. But now he like lower year, year, lower year up and he going on Tyson now. For, uh, you know. He's not gonna... Mike Tyson has so much money. He this guy has money. fucking no money. Yeah, he's gonna, that's what the lawyer he's said. He's gonna literally yeah, yeah. Listen, run out of money. Said, Don't worry about it. We're gonna win. Yeah, that's what they say at the beginning, and then he goes, "Oh, you gotta give me thirty grand to continue." No, no, no. They gonna say it. if you take a case. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah. gonna say we we not gonna charge you nothing. At least we win. That's it. That's what they gonna say to me. No. So then gonna they gonna go. He gonna settle for like two hundred thousand dollars. Lawyer's gonna take one eighty and he get win. Not really. It's gonna be like he's gonna end up taking home like ten grand. No, that's what I'm saying. Twenty. The lawyer's gonna take 180. Mm hmm. The lawyers are gonna take 80%. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Johnny Depp right now. Yeah. Big was... court case with Amber Heard. Yes. It says here that nearly 11% of Twitter accounts participating in discourse are fake about the case. This is interesting. It says here, nearly 11% of all Twitter accounts participating in the discourse surrounding Johnny Depp's defamation trial against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, are unauthentic new research shows. Why? So it says here, the majority of those inauthentic accounts are supportive of Heard, while most authentic accounts are supportive of Depp. According to an analyst of 2,300 Twitter profiles conducted by Kayabra, a tech company dedicated to improving online distance by detecting unauthentic behavior online, whenever there's a lot of people involved, there's always going to be some level of additional unauthentic conversation going on around a topic, uh, Cybra CEO told Fox News, adding that the behavior is 
usually about drawing financial interest or some sort of status or political interest. So what happened is they he's suing her for fifty million dollars for deformation and uh, because because she was selling shit he abused her. So now he's selling. Uh, he said he he suing him now for deformation fifty million dollars because because her he have some kind of he didn't get the jobs because that's deformation. Mm -hmm. So now he's suing for fifty million dollars and. Is it 50 million? Yeah, yeah, I was listening to that actually. So it says here. He's suing her for 50 million. He's suing her for defamation, not she's suing him. So now the, he was today, he was saying um, some stuff, see how this happened. He said this would happen when they have normal marriage. Then marriage gets fucking getting crazy after he gets married. I mean, like after he get, they get married, she get fucking showing red colors. And yeah. he said, uh, he said, so how this happened? He said, I never hit her. I said, I, I can maybe throw something like a... Yeah, like a, a wine bottle. No, no, no. Like a, like a, like in, in name of the... Like, ah, fuck! And obstinate, but not on her. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, but she was bitch because she was saying all the time he was fucking watching TV. She'd throw the fucking own control on his head. Yeah. Knock him fucking down with her own control. Then she started punching him, pushing, shoveling, grabbing fucking his head, ripping and fucking, you know, and she knows he's not going to do nothing and call him pussy and everything. So he said, that sounds like my mother. That was the, the relationship came to the moment, like I can do nothing what I want to do because she's going to be fucking ballistic. So that's why that, that was really true. And he, and he said, oh, you did cocaine with Marilyn Manson. He said, oh, we did maybe cocaine two times. What does that have to do with her? Exactly, violent? but yeah. her lawyer digging nonstop. Yeah. You have a problem with violence or you own cocaine? He said, what violence? And he starts saying that it is lawyer nonstop. And he said, oh, you're drinking whiskey nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And uh, Johnny Debra's uh, uh, response was fucking priceless. He like this. Hmm. Then not every hour is happy hour. <laughs> you, you don't have to drink. Yeah, exactly. And you can drink anytime. Yeah. You'll be happy. But who said I can't drink 9 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That makes no sense. Why does that make you violent? Yeah, but that's this guy nonstop digging. Yeah. That was the last thing today I watched. That's what they said. What they sounds. It says here Johnny Depp's cross examination continues yeah. continued Thursday. As he took the stand for a third day to testify against ex-wife, whom he has accused of ruining his reputation and career See? with false accusations yes. of domestic assault. Exactly. See, he, he was sick of this <coughs> one, so fucking tell me. And his daughter, she lived with them and she see what, what she was doing after. Okay. So she even say fucking that. Dump the bitch. And fucking, so they dumped the bitch. Yeah. She made this fucking crazy black guy, but she was so stupid because her cops came over there. Was no black guy, and she say he punched her, mm -hmm. and they say when. Yeah. And she say Christmas before, <laughs> and she said you didn't have this before. You're lying. So that's fucking. They find out then. She was shitting in the bed, and then yeah, we talked about that before. I know. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. She's fucking wacko. It says here, a cross-examination began Heard's lawyer, uh, Benjamin Rottenborn. Yeah, Rottenborn. Asked, asked Depp if he could consider himself a southern gentleman. Depp confirmed, adding he's, he's done his best to uphold chivalry standards. Heard's lawyer then asked about Depp's relationship with Marvel star Paul Bente best known for playing Vision in WandaVision, during a 2020 UK libel case, which Depp lost several private and disturbing text messages with Depp were, re were read in court. These texts from 2014 were again read in court Seven. Thursday, including Seven. messages from Depp, who texted uh, Bettany... 
let's drown herd before we burn her. Hey. I no. will fuck Sit. her burnt corpse after no. afterward to make sure she's dead. So yeah, he said I will be up. You will be burn her and then fuck her corpse. Fuck her corpse and till she's dead. That's the text message. But he too. don't saying fuck like fucking physically. No, he wrote. No, no, I no. I will fuck her burnt corpse afterward to no, make but sure this, she's dead. See, you don't understand what this fuck word mean that moment. It mean fucking kill it. Because he said, I'm gonna kill her, burn her, and I'm gonna fuck, make sure I fuck this cobra girl, meaning rip it on apart, make sure she's dead. Mm -hmm. That's what he meant, it. not phys uh, 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 like not fucking. Her. It says multiple photos of yeah. drug allegations belonging to death were submitted as evidence to the jury, including a photo of several lines of cocaine alongside whiskey. And a small box with a skull and crossbones and the words property of JD. A photo JD of, was that a photo of four <laughs> large bags of marijuana was also shown. Several text messages from death <laughs> disgusting drugs and drug use were read allowed, including reference to cocaine, marijuana, and various pills. Yeah, yeah. That's all the rich people do. And Fuck then, they have nothing to okay, do. Okay, I think they this is cocaine. I think this is him reading it. Let's we'll see. You have a volume? Oh, let's go play an ad. I'll wait till the commercial's done, and then we'll listen to it. Okay, this is it. And permission to play um, the the clip mentioned to the jury. Okay, I assume there's no objections. That's it's not allowed enough. It is loud enough. <laughs> Fucking amazing, though. I could call a mess if you ever stop snoring. Because if I was going to die. I thought you'd choke on your own vomit, which is very likely with you. Really? Yes. Very likely. But I've gone a lot. Yes. Sure. Yes, you do vomit a lot in your sleep, even more. Good. Oh, it's news to you? Then this is affecting you a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> so that was her talking about Johnny Depp vomiting. Because she was scared she's gonna she gonna choke. Jurors also listened to audio of Heard telling Johnny Depp about his behavior while alleged under the influence of drugs, which included vomiting and asleep. A photo was shown of Depp asleep on the couch in his Boston residence with melted ice on his lap. Depp explained to Rottenborn that he had worked a long day and has taken opioids and that that's why he'd fallen asleep on the couch. So he took a bunch of opioids from a long day of work. Michael that's what every normal. Years. That's what every normal person does. Give me, yeah, yeah. give me some oxycontin. Listen, some Percocet. if you will be, say, working maybe one time, uh, three months on three years, you will be fucking get bananas at home. So what he doing? He they have uh, some cocaine, whatever they like to this, some opiums, mm -hmm. opioids. Yep. Fucking and that's uh, sleeping and uh, puking at the same time and in the vomit. But you know, I understand fucking, but I don't want nobody shit in my bed. Yeah, that's that's the worst. That that's showing she's mental. Nobody do this, normal human. Is this Especially a girl. Like, what kind of fucking bullshit you are? That's a classy woman. No, that's fucking mental shit. Who should be fucking sent to the Australia mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what's going on in Australia? You said to me today, you drinking some shit yeah, you from, drink shoes. from the shoe, beer yeah, from the shoe, fucking shoey, uh, and make her drink shoes from very old people feet. Yeah, mm. it says tensions <laughs> rose in the in the courtroom. Uh, yeah, in the con room. In the con room. <laughs> As rock what court room? In basketball court? Room? Yeah. It says you're casting doubt on whether the actor had been sober no. from alcohol for 18 months at one point. 
I see, as no. Depp had claimed earlier this week. No. No. After lunch, they continued to grill Depp. Herb's lawyer began by questioning the actor about the couple's time in Australia during 2015, which when Depp suffered an injury that left him with a severe thing, uh, finger. During the testimony, Depp admitted to dipping his ble- bleeding finger in paint to write messages in paint slash blood mixture on the wall and furniture in the house where the couple were staying. Several photos from the reminders, as Depp called them, were shown in court, including scrawled, barely legible writing on the mirror and lampshade. In both an audio and several text messages, Depp referred to that now infamous day as the day I chopped off my finger in court. During his previous testimony, Depp claimed the digit was severed after heard threw a vodka bottle at him and it hit his hand, shattering the glass. Uh, he's with this. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps the most disturbing detail to be revealed, however, came in the late afternoon when Rottenborn played for the court a video of a fight between the couple that Heard had attempted to secretly record. In the video, Depp can be seen can be seen in the kitchen of his Hollywood home, violently slamming cup board cupboards and kicking at the cabinet he stumbles in and out of the frame several times and the sound of breaking glass can be heard two times off off screen so it says here the court was also shown text from depp to his friend isaac barch in which he referred to herd as a slippery whore and told Brarch, hopefully that cunt, rotting corpse, is decomposing in the fucking trunk of a Honda Civic. Very aggressive text. No, she must be really a bit crazy in what he's saying right now, she. Yeah. So, but... She's not countersuing in this case. Um, is it just one way, like... Johnny, He's suing Johnny Depp, Depp is trying to yeah. sue her. Yeah, because she's fucking bully. But she's giving examples on why she was a bully. Well, you, this is no reason to be bully. No examples. Yeah. How come you can give me example you can be bully? Well, tell me, what kind of example you have to be bully? Give me some example, come on. Okay, so... So you're not going to be looked bad, come on. So my friends father yeah ended up going to jail yeah for killing his father because his father was high on alcohol and drugs and started going on a killing spree in the house so self defense no there's no self defense in canada so <laughs> what there's no self defense in canada yes it is no it's not every country have self defense no so what happened was no you don't his know shit father, so don't say it i do know hey, shit. no you crazy that's why he went to jail still no yes but yeah because he harmed the human you have you self defense you have to be enough force stop the human from hurting you so what happened was not his father started killing people in the house yeah he panicked he ran to grab himself a gun and when his father was coming charging at him with a gun, he shot his father first and killed him first. So when the cops showed up, he ended up doing three years in prison for killing his father when he was trying to save his own life in that situation. Well, that's a different story. That's not really clear who was who. So that's why he got three years. But fucking in self-defense, fuck, if somebody tries to kill you, you fucking, you can use it enough force but if you have a deadly weapon and you have that, uh, how did you have a license for gun and everything? It was a long time ago. It was like the, it was like, nineteen forties, nineteen. So that's what that was. Happened. That they was to probably argue in court. They said there was no any any way 
stab him without shoot him. Mm-hmm. And they say, and there's probably this these people say yes it was but that's why this inexperienced young guy shoot father because he didn't know it he can fucking throw the brick on him knock him down and not killing him yeah where's the bricks lying around in the house you could throw a brick at him the house is built from bricks yeah but you know what i mean like there's no shit. you rest no and then that guy because he tried to save himself because he was threatened his life was threatened for the rest of his life, has a he had a record on his passport saying he was a murderer when he wasn't. Because it was self-defense. Hey, Suri. In Canada, uh -huh. in Canada, we have a life of self-defense. Okay, I found this on the web for in common Canada. We have a life of self-defense. Check it out. Why don't you just ask, is there self-defense in Canada? No, but there's a, a law, self-defense. Yeah. Self-defense, everybody can have self-defense. Is self there a self-defense <laughs> law in Canada? It says here, Canada can use force to protect their belongings and themselves. An individual is justified in taking action to prevent someone from breaking into their home. That's even even better than the self-defense. However... You're gonna steal my TV? I gonna kill you. It says here, though, however, they must cease using force once the attacker backs down. Furthermore, they must not use more force than, than is necessary. See, that's what I was saying. That enough force necessarily stop him from doing this so that's what i'm saying you have different options fucking the uh, seduce him if you know wrestling you jump him put him in a chokehold and, and yeah but the guy's running down the hallway with a gun that's at what you. i'm saying you, you go where are you gonna go you going on him like he's chasing somebody you're going behind him put chokehold and fucking take the gun and throw away and you don't have to kill him right away. No, it's not that easy. For you. Not but for you I, either. No, I will no. be attacking him right away somehow. I will be throw over there something. He shoot that. Then I know. By the time you step, he's literally going to shoot you in the leg. No, you, you have to you have to run. You have to listen how many bullets going to... No, um, you don't even know what gun he has. Pallet gun. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. You have to load it every time. Yeah, musket. No, pallet gun, you have to pump in spring. <clears throat> so you have to open, put this little nipple, close it. But no, that's what I'm saying. That That's what they give him three years because they was fucking unnecessary, unwanted kill. But kill is kill and it's minimum three years, I think, so for human. I should be Judge Peter. Well, Tyson Fury. Oh my God! We're back from Tyson, Tyson to the Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson Fury, the boxer. Yeah, something's going on. Over there. So he retained. He just did a pay per view, uh -huh. and he retained his WBC heavyweight title after beating Dylan in White in front of. You know what is Dylan White? It was funny. He was black. Okay. <laughs> it was so funny. You yeah. have a friend. Yeah, yeah, I know. You literally have a I, black I, I, friend I, I, with the same last yeah, name. Yeah, but that's what was funny. Even he said it's funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it says here that it was in front of 94,000 people at Wembley. Mm -hmm. Wembley Stadium, London. Just 9,000 people? 94,000 people. That was, that, was not, that was not interesting. Tyson, Tyson Fury retained the heavyweight belt by technical knockout in the sixth round in front of a roaches 94,000 fans at Wembley Stadium. It was a true boxing masterclass from Fury who further cemented his place as the top of this generation's heavyweight division. White came into the fight with serious aspirations of taking the heavyweight belt from Fury, but was outmatched and outclassed from the opening bell when it was one of the most 
hotly anticipated heavyweight bouts in recent history. The 94,000 tickets sold out in just hours and set an all-time record for the highest attendance at a boxing match in Europe and the biggest globally of the 21st century. So this was the biggest audience ever in the 21st century for boxing. 94,000 people. It says here, Wembley Stadium was more than three quarters full two hours before Fury and White were even due to make their ring walks. Perhaps surpassing some... Per, Surpassing given some fans paid around $2,570 for the more premium seats. With both fighters hailing from the UK, Fury from Manchester and White from London, they were each treated to a boisterous reception as they appeared on the biggest big screens for the first time with Fury narrowly edging White on the decibel meter. Thanks to his larger-than-life character and incredible technical ability, Fury boasts a unique magneticism and is extraordinarily popular among British boxing fans, but white grit and determination during what has been a rollercoaster career at times has also greatly endured him to the public. So this was like a fucking clash of the titans in England with boxing. Two, two guys from England. Yes. Wembley Stadium. 94,000 people watching a boxing match live. That's fucking crazy. I say, I say hello, you say goodbye. Yeah. I say hello, you, you say goodbye. goodbye. You think Francis Ngannou is going to fight uh, Tyson Fury in a boxing fight? Because he quit uh, UFC now. Francis. No, how Francis. He, have was, a, he fixed his knee now, so he's like very cold. Oh, cause, so because what happened, Francis is done. So UFC actually booked John Jones for the heavyweight belt against. He's coming back fighting? Yeah, so John Jones is fighting Stipe Miocic. Oh, fuck. In July. Why are you bring this retardation fucking guy from. Fuck? Because he was a heavyweight champion. Before. Yeah, but he's too old. But they both beat DC. That was like their big win. That's wins. not fair for DC. He gonna sit over there and, say, and commentate about the two yeah. guys who kicked his ass. Yeah. Oh, I remember he beat me up. Oh, I remember he beat me up. Oh, oh my God, who didn't beat you up? Fucking. I can't even imagine being like in your home country with ninety four thousand people cheering for a boxing pay per view. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. That must have been the best boxing pay per view ever to watch. 94,000 people. So here, let's do the math. They had 94,000 people. They probably paid an average of $800 a ticket for that pay-per-view to watch it live. Mm -hmm. So they pro they made $75 million just from the gate, from people coming in. What are you looking at? Are we trying to have a conversation here? What do you keep reading? I was reading about... Uh... Uh, law in Canada. Yeah, it's fucking retarded. Yeah, but uh, it makes no sense. You, you, you have to use enough force, but that's funny. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you kill the guy, you go to the jail for minimum three years. No, this is what's fucked up in Canada. Say the guy attacks you with an apple. He th he's, he throws one apple at you, and you no, this guy have a gun. And then you say. Fuck you, I'm going to throw two apples at you. Ooh. You get arrested, and he doesn't, because you threw more apples at him than he threw at you. I know. You use excessive force. That's what the law says in Canada. With the fucking bullshit, uh, with that bullshit. I'm still drinking this peach. Did you finish your peach yet? Your sneaky peach? No, I'm drinking it. Did you sneak it down your throat yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Tyson Fury breaking records with uh, boxing pay-per-views. That's, that's amazing. That's some cool shit. 94,000 fucking people. I can't even imagine that. It must have been so loud. So That's wild. lots of people. 
I remember this was Rogue Arena in Poznan, how I walk uh, like a, like a, like with festival of music. And we went on the third day because we came over there from my city. We drove the train go like 10 hours. Okay. And we went over there. And then it was 9,000 people. And it was like, you know, like Molson Theater or something. Yeah. Like, you know, the thing. Like an amphitheater. Yeah, yeah. But it was a big hall. Uh-huh. It was not open. But the 9,000 people feel like humongous. Imagine 60,000. Holy fuck. No, 94,000. No, no. I know. I remember the biggest concerts are always in Brazil. Mm-hmm. And the kiss was the biggest concert. I think it was two hundred fifty thousand people was there. Oh. Yeah. Let's Google that. The biggest concert. Yeah, that's for kiss was two hundred fifty. But the biggest concert I think so on the planet was Woodstock in Poland by Sabaton was almost one million people. He's, they say they're never gonna beat up this number. That's I know, ever. That's where I was playing you uprising, remember, like with so many people. There was Polish festival called Woodstock, but it's not really Woodstock. But the fucking Xabotan said it was almost seven almost nine hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand people. That was ridiculous. He said Alright, I have the list here. Okay. Biggest concerts, top ten biggest attendance for concerts ever. Okay. Number one is Copacabana New Year's Eve concert How many? in 1994-1995. How many people? 3.54 million people showed up on the beach in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. See, I told you. Rio for de Janeiro, New, for New crazy. Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. Three and a half million people with the only artist singing, Rod Stewart. They all showed up for Rod Stewart. Three yeah. and a half million people. <laughs> they took up four kilometers of the beach. Yeah. Okay, number two. Okay. The 850th anniversary of Moscow concert had three and a half million people attend. Yeah, Metallica was there. Yeah. For the artist Jean Michael Jarre. Oh, Jean Michel Jarre, my yeah. electronic guy. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yes, he's very popular, yeah. Number three, New Year's Eve in Brazil. <laughs> Jean Michael Jarre. Yeah. Jean Michel Jarre. Sure. <laughs> Jean Michael Jarre. <laughs> Jean Michel Jarre. <laughs> Says Copa, Copa Cabana, New Year's Eve, 1993. Yeah. Three million people in Brazil. Oh, fuck this. We can't count that. Four, George Ben Jarre. Who is George Ben Jarre? I don't know. Holy fuck. George Ben Jor. I had no idea who was there. Number four, Bastille Day Concert 1990 had 2 million people in France for Jean Michael Jarre. Jean Michel Jarre, fucking learn how to say it. Number five, Monster of Rock Concert 1991 had 1. 1.6 million people attend in Moscow for various artists such as ACDC and Metallica. 1.6 million people. Number six, Live 8 Concert. So Live 8 Concert was number number six. Okay, next. Which is all over the place. Okay. Number seven is Rendezvous Houston Concert. That was fucking Jean-Michel Jarre. Yeah, John. Yeah, I have this concert. It looks like the biggest selling artist ever on yeah, the planet because is Jean-Michel because, Jarre. Because in Houston. Yeah. Fucking... He projected on any scribe uh, house. And the people were sitting in the park and watching. Like, everybody stopped. It's yeah. unbelievable. Nobody knew him over there. He was from France. Yeah. But people was amazed how he fucking do. He do humongous fucking shows. You should watch him. It's ridiculous. Like, Houston, I remember. I have this concert. Actually, I have this concert. But, yeah. 1.3 million people attended that. Yeah. Number eight was uh, Pass Niz for Thres concert. Show me. Pat Metheny, yeah? No, it's in Cuba. They had it in Cuba. Yeah, yeah, but show me the name. What is what? You can't read that. Where is this thing? Paz Finn. Plaza de Revolution? Paz Finn Fortunist Concert. Fortunist Concert. Right there. Oh, Paz, Paz Sin Fortunist Concert. Yeah. Sin. Go. Uh, like, you know, my culpas, I make sin. Yeah, Cuba had 1.1 million people. Number nine was Bastille Day concert again in 1979, and tied with Independence Day concert 1990, and tied with 
Roma 2001 Italian Championship Victory Concert. So oh, they oh. all had one million people attend. Ooh, what did I mean? And then the final biggest concert ever is the Statue of Liberty weekend concert, which was in Central Park in New York, had 800,000 people. And that's the top concerts in the world. And that's it for us. Are we done? That's one hour. All right. I need to fucking pee. He have she have to do shit. I have drank a lot of liquid. A lot of sneaky peach is gonna sneak out of my penis hole. And that's the show. Yes, Thank okay. you for listening, watching. And, uh, and stay safe. Yeah, and don't party too hard. And, and now Ukraine, Russian, all Orthodox have the Easter today, big Saturday. Yeah, perfect time to celebrate Easter. Yeah. Let's go Easter egg hunting for grenades. Okay. <laughs> That's what I say. Peace and love. Peace and love. Goodbye. Yeah.